So I have a, a small issue with my daily driver. Um, as you probably know, this is not the blue the blue 93. If you have eyeballs, you can probably see that. Um, the blue 93 is broken. Uh, it needs exhaust valves inside of the engine. Um, and yeah, we're figuring that out because I haven't owned it for very long and I bought it from a dealer. So hopefully they pay for it. I really hope so because that does not sound like a fun job. Yeah, no, not at all. I've done it before. I just locked it. Good work. Whoops. So the issue I'm having with this thing is today it was extremely windy where we're at and a bunch of pine needles just went directly into the sunroof and now my sunroof won't seal. So I gotta clean it all out in there. Um, I gotta clean it all out so my sunroof seals again. First world problems. Yeah, so we're we're gonna we're gonna get started with that. My uh, my sunroof here. We're we're total ADD special today. That's what this is. This is the ADD special. Uh, we're just gonna do a bunch of random shite. Uh, if you look here, my seal oh, wow. is just full of crap. So uh, it won't actually like seal. It's it's just wind noise while you're driving. Just shh. It's like man, well have the sunroof open and be cold. <laughs> Speaking of ADD and left turn, the um. <laughs> So it's literally that bottom hose again. You can see it's just all over that little splash that they have. This kid just doesn't know how to do cooling systems, man. Like apparently not. Yeah. Good start to the video. Um, just sitting in a parking lot, empty bottle of coolant over there because it this thing just overheated um, for the third time on my way home from work. So I really don't know what to do. I'm just limping at home since I'm so close. So. Whatever, I'll see you then. I mean, I when this cools down from a million, that's very hot. When this cools down from like a million degrees, I will guarantee you there's going to be no coolant. And I will take a video of me doing it. Insert that video now. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it might not be for a few days. Because <laughs> I don't care at this point. I got this car still. Yeah, it's not winter and you do have the Camry, so. That is true. Let's stare at this engine and pretend we know what we're looking at. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Alright, that was good. I actually want to check the oil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you do know what you're doing. I actually had a plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, been, it's, it's been a little bit since I checked the oil and I thought it's probably just going to say that it's over full like it has been. <laughs> Hopefully enough has leaked out where it's just on the max line now. I hope so. These little caps suck. Yes, they do. Yeah, it's a little bit above the max line, just as it was before. Not bad. And the oil doesn't even look that dirty. Well, good. These little caps suck. And yes, the dipstick is part of the oil cap. I didn't even know that till just now. <laughs> I was staring at it, just thinking in my head, I'm like, what is that? It's a dipstick. <laughs> And, uh... Cool and bone dry? No, it's not no, the blue one. No, not, not this car. It is uh, <laughs> slightly above the minimum line now. Great. So, uh, could probably use some more coolant, but... It's fine. And pretend like I didn't see it, because it's still above the minimum line. Yeah. It has coolant, and apparently you can drive on them without coolant at all. Yeah, I wouldn't advise it with this one, because I really like this one. Uh, <laughs> it's actually the blue nice one, one. The blue one's fine. The blue one is about... It's in a better place now. <laughs> the, the blue one's about a, uh, a bottle of coolant every 10 miles. So... I thought it was like every 2 miles, it seemed like. <laughs> nah, it's like every 10 miles. Great. A bottle of coolant. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it, our, our audio quality for this ADD special is going to be terrible. We should probably go in the garage in a second. Yeah, let's go in the garage. Cool. I, I think uh, I'm going to steal Good car. A, a vacuum of sorts from you and just do my sunroof real quick. Sounds like a plan. I'm a struggle with this. Oh, nice. Oh no. <laughs> I damaged the car. Oh no. YouTube ba boom. Cancelled. No. <laughs> no more friendship. <laughs> friendship ended. <laughs> Great. Have you seen those? Have you seen those memes? Yes, that's uh, what I was where referencing. It's, where it's like Mitsubishi Lancer, and it's like I am Lancer now. 
friendship ended with friendship ended Subaru. With Subaru. <laughs> now friends with Mitsubishi. <laughs> Actually, it was the other way around for this me. This thing's powerful. Yes, it is. This got more power than my Chevette, dog. Yes, it does. <laughs> we should uh, swap this one with Chevette. Not the outside, no. Ah, oh, yikes! <laughs> I forgot I was on a cord! <laughs> this ain't no Bluetooth connection. I thought it was Bluetooth, dog, I'm sorry. We had one of our subscribers complaining that we didn't put out a full video, so. That is true. Thank yeah, you. We gotta... We, the people are asking for us and we just need to come back, you know? I know, I, I mean... Really, I was really thinking about retiring from the YouTube career here, you know? But, um, I changed my mind. The people are asking. <laughs> Dang, we thought we had it off easy, retiring after a couple weeks. Yeah. I lost my keys already, though. Oh. So. That don't look too good. I found my keys. Hey, look at that. That was fast. Yeah, hopefully my sunroof actually seals now. We'll find out when I drive home. Hey. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, yeah. Yeah, not worth a test drive. <laughs> no, not in the slightest. Not worth walking either. I need to be right in front of it. That's true. So I gotta clean up from this extensive project, and uh, we'll we'll do a little uh, shop update after that, and we'll uh, we'll switch cameramen, and uh, we'll uh, we'll show you Brett's new setup in some more detail. So as we rumored to you earlier, uh, Brett over here got a new. Uh, a little bit of a new setup for the garage and we're gonna check it out here so he's gonna show it to us here we got the Camry and the garage is normal how we doing Brett yo yo so we got the new box pretty man not gonna lie um, ton of room so Oh. I used to have a workbench in here, which you was... may, which you may have seen in a few previous videos. Yeah, you've definitely have seen it. It was such a mess. It was always cluttered, and it came out to here. So I had this much room in between the car and the workbench. Like literally at the end of this mat was the workbench. Yeah, not not enjoyable when you don't have a lot of room, you know. No, not at all. So twenty five hundred dollars later, we've slimmed down a little bit of room. <laughs> Uh, we've slimmed down a lot of room here. More room for activities like removing engines. Uh, yeah. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Partially. First word. So, what we're gonna do today for the Camry, we're gonna cross something off the list. Motor mount. We're gonna be doing... It would be... This one. It's the upper motor mount. So, if you wanna come over here. It's this one right here. So, if you see the amount of play it has, it's not doing much. That ain't that ain't doing anything anymore. No, dude. it's I don't even think it's holding the engine in. So we're gonna we're gonna try to replace that. Um, yeah. And I think how we're gonna do it is we're just gonna unbolt the mount. Because it's obviously not doing anything right now. It's, and the engine may fall out of it, but we who knows? I we'll, hope not. You got a hook right here, it's fine. Yeah we'll look we'll, back up. Yeah we'll you guys are along for the ride here. We're gonna see what happens. Oh Wow. All right, now it's moving. Wow, that thing was in there. Torqued us back with rust? Probably. <laughs> so does that matter? No. No? Okay, good. Why don't we just delete it? Oh, yeah, we don't even need this, apparently. <laughs> apparently we don't need it. Yeah, we'll, we'll just delete yeah. it. Yeah. We did the delete. <laughs> Haha! Step one of weight reduction. Oh, is that a washer? Yeah, it's just a washer, it looks like. It's like, it seemed <laughs> like I moved, like, the hex part of it, and just not, nothing else. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's like, uh -huh. ADD special featuring Brett getting confused by a washer. I'm used to these stupid German cars, so I'm not used <laughs> to a Japanese car again with actually nice bolts. Get out of here with your faulty pinch welds. Yes. Yeah, this car is actually nice, though. Part of this, let me just flip the camera around so we can get both of us in here. Part of this YouTube channel will be, for the entirety of it, uh, me and Brett arguing about whether Japanese or European cars are better, and I'm always right. So, 
and angle it out. All right, so it's out. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> so you can't, okay, so I literally was just not doing anything. Yeah, it was just. Oh. just. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, out with the old and very broken, and with the new and not so broken, I guess. Does the middle of that one come out? Firm test? No, it does not. And it very good. Out. So actually, before I put this in, I'm gonna actually grab the vacuum again. The vacuum. The vacuum. You know, vacuum the uh, the engine bay of a car before? Uh, yes. Yeah, At okay. work, there's so many rat nests in cars. But I did vacuum out a while ago all the rust that was in that, so I'm gonna get that at it. And yeah, may as well, may as well in the keep manifold. up. Yeah, keep up with the uh, the service of vacuuming your engine bay. Yeah. Exactly. So, stay. Time for you guys to not be able to hear us. Nope. Bye bye. The return of the tube. Ah, uh, yes. The tube. The part tube. Two. Part 10. Part Apparently, a lot of people liked the tube. Uh, we got like, how many views did we so get like on that? 625. Video? Yeah, last, last, last time I looked, it was like 625 views. So, thanks for watching, guys. Way more than we ever thought okay. we would get by now, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so. We hope yeah, we hope you guys like stick around. Yeah, stick around. The projects are only going to get like bigger and bigger. Like we're doing small stuff. We're tearing apart his project car or his yeah. parts car, and um, I'm literally just doing something in my daily. Yeah. So we're only gonna get more projects as it starts to get you know more boring to us in the fall and winter time. <laughs> we won't be able to like go outside out. as much. Yeah. So we'll be like, okay, let's hit up the unit and rip something apart. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. So I I would say these projects will definitely be getting better. I'm not or uh, bigger. I'm not so sure about better. Uh, yeah, you, you never know with us it, it may just be utterly terrible but it, it, it may be a big project so stick around to watch that guys <laughs> back to uh, back to a motor mount so motor mount let's see if it lines up this cheap kit I got oh that fits a little bit more snug that's probably important it's fitting snug get a hammer kid <laughs> Get that back bolt in and then just smash it the rest of the way. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, Brett here. Uh, <laughs> so he just decided we literally have chicken nuggets. We just made chicken nuggets and now, or, while Brett was gone, yeah. I just decided to start working on the Camry, so. Pretty much. I, I thought about removing the engine, but I did. I just don't think I had enough time. Unfortunate. Before he got back with the chicken nuggets, so. I'd say those are pretty good. If you want to inspect my work, sir. Just make sure. That's good. Yeah, we're good. Torque to spec. Torques to Torque, torque to Toyota spec. I am actually a Toyota certified torque wrench. Obviously. Torque to spec. I you almost just knocked out my... I almost just ruined the hood prop. I was just... We almost had a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? We're having a good day. Let's keep it going that way, right? I'm not having a good day. <laughs> sunset garage for real, boys. So, literally... Literally sunset garage. Look at that. Yeah, we got a pretty good sunset right now. But... Um, the best sunset I have ever seen, this is pretty close honestly, but the best one I've ever seen was, I was in a 1997 Ford Power Stroke F350 Dually Crew Cab Long Bed, big truck. And I'm putting through Utah at 55 miles an hour, there's, a, there's salt flats on either side, and then it turns into a lake when you're coming into Salt Lake City, 
and it was just this perfect cotton candy sky. Wow. It was absolutely gorgeous, you know? So, it's giving me a little bit of reminder of my uh, cross-country road trip that I had, so. Okay, you want to sure. check if it's a neutral? Yep. <laughs> okay. Was that thorough enough, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to uh, Home Depot yet again. It seems to be a recurring theme. Yeah. Home Depot. Actually, we're gonna go to Lowe's. Lowe's? All right, cool. Because we're gonna change it What's up. What's that reverse light? Come on. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Good old front reverse lights, brother. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna back straight into your pine tree. Damn, boy. <laughs> I saw him put my seatbelt on. Gotta do that. Trug. Not even my trug. Trug. Good trug. Pretty good trug. Anyways, we are headed to the store. I think we already said that, but we're gonna go and get some shit from the good old Lowe's, and we're gonna improve Brett's new setup even more with, uh, what are we what are we doing with these hooks? We're making so, a little key rack. We're making a little key rack, and I wanna see. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Where are you going? And now this person's gonna fucking not let me buy. It's an RSX. Oh, sick. What a loser. Straight up. Yeah, I wonder who would own that. I wonder who would own an RSX. <laughs> yeah, I used to. Um, and you should own another. I know, I want to. I still have the plate hanging in my, um, the license plate hanging in my two new toolbox, uh, specifically for that reason. So it'll be a reminder for another fun car. Uh, without... Excluding sobs because they're just so different, um, and they're not necessarily the best performance car. Uh, one of the best performance all-wheel drive, or not all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive cars that I've driven is an RSX Type S. Is that what it's called? Yep, Type I'm, S. I'm kind of ignorant when yeah. it comes to Japanese cars, but um, yeah, I had an RSX Type S. Uh, I was driving it for two days and it was fantastic. Like, every highway off-ramp was just a blast. But this one's probably automatic in a sense. That one's an automatic and it's a facelift because it has only the, um, the outer lights lit up. We are about to pull up to good old Lowe's. Nothing we messed up my rev match, dog. <sighs> Had to hit the brakes. Great. What a loser. Lowe's. That Mercury Grand Marquis had a bit of a rumble to it. That's what I was focusing on. I was like, dude, that thing's sick. Yeah, I heard it. That's a good car. Very that's, good cars. That's a that is a that's a quality automobile. Very quality. Or not. I tried for a second. <laughs> Why is the RSX behind me? Is he? Yeah. Oh, they are. I'm gonna park over here. Okay. By this Mercedes, Mercedes Kens. Mercedes. Very good. Sorry for touching your leg there, man. That's all right. I had it in the way. <laughs> yeah, good old reverse lock. That will probably stop working someday and leave me stranded in reverse. Sounds about right. I will drive home backwards. <laughs> Obviously, very mature. Had to get one in my car. Oh yeah. We're we got just, the uh, swag hooks, dude. We're just checking out some swag hooks. Swag. Oh, I see something with square headlights. Grand Marquis. Grand Marquis. Nice. That's the generation that I had for a few days <laughs> and then promptly destroyed. That's also, fine. the sunroof is quiet. I yeah. mean, it still leaks a Very little bit. Very quiet. Still leaks a little bit. I still hear it. But... Yeah, but like, it is significantly better. Good. I couldn't think over it. Was it really that loud? Yeah, it was whistling. Oh, man. I and it was that. just like, may as well just have the sunroof open and get covered in pine needles and freeze freeze to death. Yeah, oh, lovely. Because, uh, yeah. Epic. I need to fix that. It's a good idea. All right, so we're back. Uh, Brandon had to leave, but we got the hooks going, actually. Um, they were super cheap at Home Depot. They're just little command ones. Uh, we got a crap ton of the sticky things, so if I don't like that, um, I'll just end up replacing it. Um, and just moving it to a different spot. 
but that was actually some mild success today. Uh, we got the upper engine mount in. It doesn't have any play anymore. It's actually, you know, existing. Like this one. That's... That's crazy. Like, that's not even attached anymore. <laughs> so, just, uh... Just go in there, please. Just... There you go, pal. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching uh, this mess of a video. Uh, I don't even know what we're going to call it. We're probably going to call it, like, some ADHD special or something. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. It's a weird car for even weirder people. You think soft people are weird? Have you ever met someone who owns a Honda Insight? No, you probably haven't, but if you have, you definitely remember them.